it's gotten hard to tell. You're running along a dark tunnel, pushing your overtaxed body as fast as it will go. Your heart pounds harder with each step. Concussive thumps echo above you. Each one seems to resound in your heaving chest. Welcome, travelers of the internet, to Brighelm Recording. This is your host, Master Barkle, playing the Pillars of Eternity. We've left off in uh, the first level of Durgan's Battery, having just defeated, I believe, a fragment of Arms Warden Maroon? Mar Maroon? Maroon? I can't remember her name. Um. But I have a new theory. Maybe this is like first level where all, you know, arms were guards and all that. There's the armory, there's the war room, and like the feast hall. Everyone needs a feast hall. There's some offices and all that, whatnot. So let's head down to level two, where I'm going to bet is the coin master stuff. Treasure. Mmm. Oh. Mines. A mine! Margarine's fire casts light in dark places. Oh. We can't hold them off! Fall back! She charges forward and dies. Because that's what I presume. We got a little shield wall there. Heat ripples and rises from great covered hallways below you. Something heavy broke through the railing and gouged a chunk out of the bridge. And that's the same thing over there. Okay. Oh. Just say the word. We got some company here. Eh. <coughs> oh, and if I find something good, you can have half. Every bone in this skeleton has been placed, snapped in two or more places. Every bone. There's like 200 and something bones. Goodness gracious. Something's really determined. They're coming to the mines! To break every bone. Workshop. I can do that. Well, it's locked. I can't get in there. Zawa is ready. That's great. Zawa is ready. That, yeah, that, awesome. Loot that guy. There we go. Figure out how to do it. They lie in prayer. Did a lot of them just die in front of statues? Shattered skeletons lie prostrate before the shrine. Swords and helms have been laid at the feet of this statue. Some just give up fighting? A simple test. Interesting. Nice glowy gems and Don't look back. Keep running. Why not? Why shouldn't I look back, huh? What's going on over here? Oh, oh, it's just no, oh, no, there's... They're living in the past. Nerds. Heat from the level below prickles your skin. Is that the forge's heat? Out of my way! Something burns beneath you, but you can't see what. It's the forge of Abidon. Okay. Lay in low. And the fire shows me something new. What do we got here? Ooh, a little bit of Durgan iron and diamonds. Over the barricade? Um, 
It looks like you had established a barricade and it got smashed. And possibly blown up? What? What came down here? Was it like a red dragon? Is that what all that heat rippling rising up there over there was? What could have broken through this? Yeah, something big for sure. That's a, that's a lot of stone. I don't think the dwarves waged war on themselves like that. Skeletons like crushed beneath enormous stone slabs. Only a few bones protrude from the rubble, and they've been broken like twigs. The wall has been smashed into great jagged shards. Yeah. Something's detecting me. What's detecting me? I can feel eyes on me in the walls. Coming out of the goddamn walls! Look! Losing ground! Mm-hmm. That is unsettling, being seen by something. I seem to be retreating that way. So that's probably the way to the next level. These guys aren't so hostile. Many of these bones have been ground into grit. Man, who is that determined to br grind and break bone? Like, a red dragon wouldn't do that. Zawa, have you got any explanation? A hopeless battle was waged in Durgan's battery. They seemed to know that their deaths had come, yet many fought on. Even now they continue to fight on. <sighs> their bravery was not enough in the end. They might have made great Nalpazka warriors. If only they had been born to Khan. Maybe. Nothing will slip past me. Well, let's figure out what's going on over here. Fight! Okay. Alrighty. Fight! Nothing will slip past me. Mm-hmm. Many bones been ground into grit. Breastplate and... I can't remember how to pronounce that. Coises? Keyses? Are all smashed or bent beyond further use. These stone slabs have shattered like pottery. Oh jeez, that's a big, that's a big fella there. Heavy bronze suit appears to have been ripped apart. Its pieces scattered across the floor. Another one. Could that open up the workshop? Let us in! They're coming! One ran away that way. To seek the White Forge in the north. Reached Old Valia in the west. The cold wind from the south. And bore our parents east. What? Okay, sure. I feel like the hall still goes on. <clears throat> but I'm not allowed to go on. Guessing rubble is just blocking the way. <coughs> okay. Key open up this. Blasphemy. What have we here? I've seen these symbols a lot. 
Is that the symbol of Durgan's battery? Ooh, is this gonna be a puzzle? See a statue with what appears to be a sword, a shield, and a hammer. This is the Hall of Remembrance. And there's obviously a curse on that casket. A hole bores into the stone. Its edges are blackened and gritty with soot. The sword wielded by this suit of armor is covered in fine detail work. Far more intricate than that of the armor itself. So it's about sword, shield. This armor has been posed bracing behind a broad shield, thick and sturdy as a city gate. Despite the years of weathering, where the helmets on the other <clears throat> armors in the room are plain and lustrous, this one is brighter and more reflective. So clearly the helmet is the centerpiece on this one, not the hammer. So, shield like a city gate can represent like the, uh, the uh, walls of Durgan's battery. The helmet can show like the. Let me let me take a look in here. So the the contact was hammers of Durgan ring aloud. May the anvil's deep music resound. Music can resound in a helmet. Ugh echo around quite a bit <clears throat> walls of the battery safeguard our works from marauder and wilder alike which that could be like the gate and abaddon's faithful travail by the forge and the fires of right in the ore that's the one that i don't really know if fits anywhere in here let's let's do a bit more intel gathering before performing this puzzle to get the uncursed treasure. <clears throat> Hold them off! Move! Hobbiton's gears! They're coming! Yep, looks like it. Looks like you were stopped. Sigil of the Helm. Okay. Have I been grabbing sigils without knowing it? No, I've only got sigil of the helm right now. Okay. For the battery. Understood. For the battery. We're outnumbered. Wow, these tunnels are a bit windy. Listen, you hear that? Man, every dwarf's nightmare. The iron and copper deposits are spattered with blood. It's a crossbow. Erasmus' letter. Something was hastily scrawled across this page. It reads, Floru, we're trapped here. But I take heart in knowing you're safe below. When this ends, take whatever you can and leave for Fort Bone Picker at once. Take our nephew if you can. It's not safe here. Keep this with you. Your love, Erasmus. The other side looks like a poem, but it's obscured with dirt. Mm-hmm. Are we safe here? Probably not. Quiet. Well, maybe. If it was like a, a red dragon that came down the, the, your big hall, you may not want to come into the mine tunnels because there's much lower ceilings in here. Well, we have seen some skeletons 
So, I presume you're not safe. Just my guess. Okay. Got another skeleton down here. Ooh, another girdle of Ayrton Constitution. Hurry! We can hide here! They're going to come for us here and... and... And grind your bones to dust, it would seem. The skeleton's ribcage has been smashed into fragments. This dwarf's remains lie on the floor, covered in dirt and swathed in cobwebs. Essence drifts nearby, hanging in the stale air like dust motes. Reach out to the essence. It takes a little additional effort, but you manage to gather the floating essence to you. You work your way into it and suddenly find yourself immersed in the soul's memory. The shock hits you with an almost physical force. Your heart hammers within your chest. Other Pargrunen rush past you, retreating or attacking. It's gotten hard to tell. You're running along a dark tunnel, pushing your overtaxed body as fast as it will go. Your heart pounds harder with each step. Concussive thumps echo above you. Each one seems to resound in your heaving chest. You pass the mines and reach the main hall. It's packed full of shouting, shoving, panicking dwarves. Even if you could reach the other door, the door at the other end without getting trampled or beaten to death first, something in the fever of the crowd tells you it's already locked. The tunnel behind you rings with screams. You had another dial for the door to the forge below, but it's locked in the workshop on the other side of the barricade. The sounds of battle grow closer. You race to the mines, ignoring the building pressure in your chest. You scurry deeper into the mines, losing track of your path. The tunnels seem to close around you. You stumble and fall. You try to pull yourself up, but your arm is dull with pain. Even though you've stopped, you can't quite catch your breath. For the first time, you notice a squeezing agony in your chest. Darkness gathers around you. Pull back from the memory, gulping for air. Because your ribs got crushed. You couldn't breathe. He's got a... He's got a key. The nearby spirits grow restless. I don't care. Take the key. They want to get upset. As you do, you hear screams of horror and fury. The dead of Durgan's battery converge on you. There are natural teeth and claws bared. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely a place you don't want to end it. Not a sound. A dead end like that. Catch this. We gotta find our way out of the tunnel. Stop them! Um. Yeah, we've already read that before. <clears throat> Where this goes. The Forge Guardians! Call the Forge Guardians. <laughs> you should have run! <laughs> They're real upset. Both in stalking boots. Rocks choke in the choke the tunnel mouth as it it caved in or was purposefully collapsed some time ago. Man. What's with throwing the blood on the iron and copper? 
Like, that's very specific spots to be throwing blood on. <coughs> Let's go to that little minecart over here I saw. An empty minecart sits at the mouth of this tunnel, waiting to be loaded up with ore. Despite the condition of some of the surrounding tunnels, this cart and the tracks appears to be intact. There is a lever at the base of the tracks. It's in the cart. Cart is empty, if dusty and patchy with rust, and large enough that a group of kith might fit inside, uncomfortably. Got it. Everyone, climb it! You and your allies clamber into the minecart in a graceless jumble of jabbing elbows and weapons. Pull the lever! With a shriek of grinding metal, the lever slides into place. The cart gives a mighty shudder, then starts rolling slowly along the tracks. The minecart moves downhill and quickly gathers speed. On the next rise, it becomes clear that there is some form of enchantment upon the tracks. The cart loses none of its momentum. Okay, hopefully we stay on the track. After a sharp turn, you find yourself rapidly approaching a fork in the tracks. One track leads left and another upward and to the right. Uh, look around quickly. You notice another lever set along the side of the tracks. The minecart hurdles along towards it. Uh, grab the lever as you pass. I'll do it myself. On a show of dexterity, you manage to hang over the side of the cart and grab the lever as it comes along. The impact nearly jars you from your perch, however, and leaves your shoulders aching. Ooh. There's a grinding noise, and then the tracks shift ahead of you just in time. The cart rattles onto the right track. After a dizzying series of turns and twists, the minecart slows and stops at the entrance to a new cavern. Woo! Margarine's fire casts light in dark places. The chest is going to be trapped. Huh? No trap? Ho oh, ho! We got the shield! Dented minecarts and heaps of rubble block this tunnel. We gotta do it again. Another minecart sits at the mouth of an ascending tunnel. You cannot be sure where it leads apart from out of this room. You and your companions clamber into the minecart. You pull the lever and hear the now familiar whine of rusty wheels as the minecart starts rolling along the track. After a series of gentle twists and turns, the cart approaches a familiar cavern. Oh. Okay, I thought I was going to go down a, a new, different tunnel, but oh well. Oh well, I guess. Did I ever get a key? Bum, bum. I'll see what's ahead. Ah, crap. Okay, there we go. Ready in. And there's ice trolls, winter wolves, all that. That was a giant one, too. Okay. There's a map of the mines, but various tunnels and choke points have been marked off with arrows and axes. I'll go on ahead. It looks like a hasty battle plan. Resume there. Trying See now find... what the flame has shown us? Defensive points to fight from. Uh, there's the sh there's the sword. These scrolls catalog quantities of ore and minerals taken from the mines. Tempered out bloodthirst, freedom, and defiance. Wow. That'd be awesome for a barbarian. A freezing draft filters through the collapsed wall. Looks like it looks as if something broke through from the outside. Wonder what? I wonder what? The stone dial. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh. <clears throat> New monsters come to face me. Your, your mind. Okay. So here's a sword. 
Circular depression carved into the stone sits below the relief of a dwarven warrior. Armor-clad figures charging ahead against an unseen enemy. Three holes puncture the bottom of the circular depression. Their edges are seam worn as if something has scraped against them. Above the depression, a dwarf appears to ready a charge, holding a shield low and a sword high. Okay, this seems kind of like the sword. You hold the symbol in place, matching its protrusions against the holes in the circular depression. They align perfectly. A gentle push is enough to slide the symbol into its receptacle. You hear a faint clicking sound behind the stone wall. Okay, and this one is probably the shield. A circular depression carved a... Uh, yep. uh, the armor-clad figure stands guard against an unseen enemy. Two holes puncture the bottom of the circular depression. Their edges seem worn as if something had scraped against them. Above the depression, a dwarf appears to ready defend against a charge, holding a shield high and sword low. Okay. So he's like, uh... He's like a Pokemon. He readies defend. You hold the symbol in place, matching its protrusions against the holes in the circular depression. They align perfectly. A gentle push is enough to slide the symbol into its receptacle. You hear a faint clicking sound behind the stone wall. Well, this is not a hard puzzle to do. A circular depression carved into stone sits below the relief of a dwarven warrior. The armor-clad figure stands over a defeated enemy. Wow. What a chad. One hole punctures the bottom of the circular depression. Its edges seem worn as if something had scraped against them. Above the depression, stepping on the corpse of a vanquished foe, a dwarf holds his own helmet high in sign of victory. Okay, put that helmet in there. You hold the symbol in place, matching its protrusions against the holes in the circular depression. They align perfectly. A gentle push is enough to slide the symbol into its receptacle. You hear a faint clicking sound behind the stone wall. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, we didn't get jumped. Is it still cursed? <clears throat> it looks like it's still cursed. Do I want a mace? Binds with a rogue or a priest. Oh, is that just how it is? Uh, let's grab it. These are Abidun's treasures. Yeah, well, it's my treasure now. Cry some more. You prof. Oh, they are gonna cry. And there's there's Exandru, the fragment of Exandru. Okay, Exandru is the the Abidon fanatic, I guess. So I was wrong about level two being the coin masters. Fain Abidon sacred crown, Navaru Vion seek. Oh, Durance, you got torrent of flame. You need to deal damage to enemies. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> As you approach the door, you notice a round depression within the surrounding frame. The molding around the depression is elaborately carved with a row of foreign symbols lining the topmost edge of the circle. Let's examine it. The depression is about three finger widths deep, with a few small stone fragments jutting out from within the wall. Some pieces seem to rotate independently along slots, but they have no obvious effect in and of themselves. Well, we got stone disc, put it in. At first, the disc does not seem to fit until it is oriented in a specific way. 
you hear a quiet click of casings as it sinks into place. Nothing appears to happen right away. However, on the disc itself, an arrow-shaped protrusion points north. North. So we can rotate clockwise, counterclockwise, and push. As you turn away, you hear a faint grinding of stone. The dial faces north once more. Okay. To seek the White Forge in the north. Reached Old Valley in the west. A cold wind from the south. And bore our parents east. Isn't the White March like north east of Valia? Um. Okay, cold wind from the south. Well, let's let's try north, west, south, east. Left to right, just reading it. So it's pointing north, push. And then we go counterclockwise to go west, push the disc. And then counterclockwise twice, push the disc. Oh. <coughs> okay, so. When I did south, okay, a cold wind from the south reached Old Valley in the west. And bore our parents e to seek the White Forge in the north and bore our parents east. So that's what I'm thinking. Cold wind from the south reached Old Valia in the west. To seek the White Forge in the north and bore our parents east. So we need to go south, west, north, east. Okay. South. And then I said west. Another thunk, and then north. Nope, that wasn't it. I think I've got most of the right recipe. So south, west, and then, <coughs> and bore our parents east. Reached Old Valley of the West and bore our parents east to seek the White Forge in the north. Okay. So south. West, East, and finally, North. You press the disc as the arrow points North. At first, nothing seems to happen, but after a few seconds have passed, the disc recedes deeper into the socket. You hear a clunk and a rattle of chains and the door nearby swings open. The way is clear. Okay, there's going to be a level 3. I don't want to get into a level 3 with so little time, though. There's level 2 of Durgan's Battery completed. The mines have been finished off. And this is telling a much different story from what we heard upstairs. Upstairs, we were hearing about treachery and these secret plots going on. They wanted to prevent the others from being armed because they were going to backstab them first or something. But down here, it seems a new threat has shown up. I'm guessing Red Dragon, but it might also be the dwarves have done dug too deep again and have awakened the Balrog of the Deep. Um, this is still lit up. Hmm. Uh, anyways, it, they're coming together now. There, there's less infighting now, and there's a lot more camaraderie. Camaraderie doesn't happen by accident. 
Developing a strong sense of trust, accountability, and togetherness around team goals requires intentional effort. This is Master Barkle from Bright Helm Recording, signing off.